welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Jaguar Football Program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, the Louisiana Lottery, Healthy Blue, Communities of Color Network, Tobacco Free Living, The Grind Inside Quarters, and Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Hello and welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where each week we bring you all the highlighted action of the Southern University football program. We come to you each week from the grind inside quarters located at the corner of Sherwood Forest and Corsi Boulevard. We invite you to come out sometime around the neighborhood at 1230, watch us shoot the show, and then talk a little SU football afterwards. Of course, you can catch us on TV six times a week on all the um, ch times that you see there on the graphic and you can catch us anytime at your leisure on our YouTube or our Facebook page. Coach Odoms, congrats on a big win over the Texas Southern Tigers this Saturday at the State Fair Classic in Dallas. We go out there, take down the Tigers 21-7. On this night, your defense played a critical, critical game because your offense seemed to get stagnant after scoring early. Well, you know, I really think Mike Haywood does a great job with his football team. They, they play better than their record indicate. Uh, the defensively, they always play us tough. Uh, they made it tough for us. Uh, get, we did get the running game going. We were able to lean on it. But it was just third downs. We weren't able to stay on the field on third down. And defensively, you know, guys just bowled their back and they stood strong and they got off the field on third down. And when you do that, you got a chance. And I think we can continue to get better defensively down the stretch. We know our offense is going to come around. Our quarterback didn't have the best day. Uh, he got a little ankle injury there, but hopefully he'll be ready to go this week. And, you know, we just got to stay on the field on third down. It's hard to have consistent drives when you can't stay on the field on third down. challenge of being a football coach is to have a productive output like you had in the Prairie View game with 38 points, and then you turn around and you have a laconic day from your offense like we had Saturday against Texas Southern. But... That's why you call it football, and that's why you have a defense. And, Coach, your defense played pretty good. A couple of turnovers, a couple of key stops. Um, for the most part, swarming performance, especially by Lumpkins, Nash, and uh, Carter. Well, Zach, you know, I think when you can keep a whole little running game to less than 100 yards, and, you know, I don't think we give up 200 yards passing. So, I think they had about 188 yards passing. I think when you can play like that, and keeping them out of the end zone. I thought our guys did a great job and, you know, we still can execute a lot better. I think we're playing with confidence. You know, I think our team is where they need to be mentally. It was tough, you know, when you come off a big win. Now, how do you get your team ready to go forward and do the necessary things that it takes to get prepared for a team that's not playing well? And I thought our guys responded well. Coach, let's jump into those highlights. Uh, and you're going to see the Southern University Jaguars. They came ready to play on one of the first possessions of the game. Uh, Texas Southern made a punt. We blocked it, and uh, it was actually caught in the air by Stevens, and he took it in for a touchdown. That's a great way to start a day, Coach. Always great to start a game with some special team points, and I thought Jordan Lewis did a great job of blocking it, and Carlos Stevens did an excellent job of running it in. You saw a nice sack there by Nash and then a great quarterback hurry by Thompson. We get the ball back. Devon Ben's going to run for 14. Then he's going to take one for 10. And then Skelton's going to hit Washington for 11. Coach, I really have been impressed with how steady Ben has been for you out of the backfield. Still looking for that big game from him. You know, he's had been close to getting 100 yards, but we're looking for that big game. And, you know, when we can run the football, we're deadly as an offense. There you see Skelton making something out of nothing. The play was to go to the right. He ended up pirouetting and taking it in from four yards out to the left. Fontenot continues to do a good job with the extra point kicking. And at this juncture, the score is 14-0 Southern. Here we are on defense. Good tackle by Small. And then a sack for loss by Lewis. That young man played lights out all day, Coach. He did. You know, he's one of those freshmen that's contributing to this football team, and he looked forward to continuing to get better because he's tough out there. Here you see a good stop by Williams, and ultimately you're going to see a sack by Lewis and Bryant. Again, Coach, we just talked about Lewis, and there he is again. Here Skelton's going to hit Trey Smith for 12. He's going to come back to Mims for 9. 
and then Mims is going to run for seven. Uh, you had a good drive going here, Coach. Unfortunately, it gets stalled out by a skeleton interception. He just underthrew it, huh? Yeah, the guy was open. Should have threw it, you know, a little while ago. And, you know, he held on to the ball. And that's one thing you can't do at, at quarterback is hold on to it. Good stop by Tillman uh, on the rush by Texas Southern. And then ultimately uh, a fake field goal snuffed by SU. Uh, you got to love it, Coach, when you can snuff scoring drives. Well, exactly. And defense, they did a great job. And, you know, we faked one the other day, and you can see the kind of momentum that it gives you. But when you can stop them, it creates momentum for you. Well, there you have it. The first half from the Cotton Bowl, uh, one of the first for Southern, uh, the iconic Cotton Bowl built in 1930. It definitely looks like it. When we come back, uh, we'll talk about the second half of the Southern Texas Southern game on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Stay with us. Welcome to the Multiplier Games. Multiply your winnings five times, ten times, twenty times. $50,000. Win up to $200,000. Louisiana Lottery. Multiply your play. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me the feeling are you looking for some great food and to have a great time well come eat drink play and win at quarters we've got 7.99 lunch specials monday through friday from 11 a.m to 2 p.m or you can kick back after work with happy hour from 4 p.m to 7 p.m then reverse happy hour from 9 p.m to close in bold Play Laser Tech and arcade games and eat some of the best food in Baton Rouge seven days a week, only at quarters. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where each week we come to you from the grind. We invite you to come out, have a little lunch, talk a little SU football. Coach, jumping right back into it, we're up 14-0 at the half. What did you tell your team uh, at the sec at the halftime to keep them motivated and keep them playing well? Well, just really talked about execution and being consistent. You know, just try to get a drive going offensively. We get, we got the ball to start the second half. Let's see if we can put a drive together, put seven points on the board, and just told them it don't look like um, it was going to come down to defense. And whichever defense was going to keep the other one out of the end zone would probably have a chance to win the football game. And I thought we were playing pretty good defensively. So if we could just muster a few more points, uh, we should be pretty good in this football game. Coach, Ladarius Skelton, after a breakout performance at Prairie View, um, he, he had a tough day. He, he was, you know, um, kind of stagnant and then ultimately got a, uh, an injury. How's he doing? Well, it should be recovering fine. I uh, really don't know the status until probably about midweek. But they had treatment on Sunday, and, you know, we'll reevaluate things uh, day to day. Uh, but I, I, I look forward to him getting better. He felt better today. Felt a lot better than he did on Saturday, so hopefully it's getting better and continue to get better. Coach, one of the things you consistently say when it comes to your football teams is the next man has to be ready, the next man up. And John Lampley was ready. He stepped in. Uh, he had an interception, but he also had uh, a nice touchdown throw in the corner of the end zone, and he led the team well, yeah. I thought, uh, in the balance of the game. Well, exactly. You know, just those early season starts. Allow us to have two guys that we can rely on, and you got to be ready. You know, get stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And he stepped in, and you can see the poise and confidence. He did not look like a backup in the game. Uh, he made some great decisions, and hopefully, he continues to prepare himself like a starter. And and you know, I think it's good to have two quarterbacks because you never know in this game. But we were fortunate he was able to come in and play well. Let's jump into those second half highlights from the Texas Southern game at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. All right, here you're going to see Skelton use his feet for eight yards. 
and then he's going to go through the air to Kendall Catalan for 12. Then Devon Ben's going to run for nine. Skelton's going to come back and hit Catalan for seven. He's going to run for nine. And unfortunately, Barajas' coach is going to miss one from 40 yards out, wide left. Hadn't missed many this year. No. Uh, the biggest thing is got a crosswind in the stadium. Uh-huh. And uh, looked like he overcompensated for it and pulled the ball a little bit left. It was windy out there, Coach. I got to um, say, you know, one of the things that I noticed, it was just like uh, it was at Prairie View, just a windy, windy day out there. Well, it's, it's getting close. You know, we're in the fall season, so that, that creates the kind of elements. And, you know, we got to be able to execute during, the, during that time. Here you see Skelton using his feet for five. Lampley comes in due to Skelton's in, injury, and he rushes for 10. Then Ben rushes for 12. We get back on defense, and we sack the Prairie View quarterback, um, Nash on the sack, and uh, Jones uh, on the uh, recovery. Again, another turnover, Coach, important to the game, huh? Always, you know, I think, you know, the more times you can get that ball back to your offense is increases the chances of getting points put up there. And, and defensively, we've been creating some turnovers here lately. hope we can continue that trend down the stretch. Here you see Ben rush for 13, Ben rush for eight. Then Lampley's going to hit Trey Smith for a touchdown and Fontenot with the extra kick. We're up 21-0 at this juncture and looking pretty good, Coach. Well, now it's just about playing smart football and just understanding that, that if you don't do anything to give up big plays on defense, turn the ball over on offense, you should be in control of a football game and just continue to play smart throughout the second half. There you saw a fumble. Uh, by Texas Southern and we get the ball back. Quarterback hurry by uh, Malik, I mean by Jay Davis. They actually gonna get on the board, coach, uh, and it's gonna be 21-7 uh, at this point in the game. Uh, I was a little surprised, coach. I thought Texas Southern had a couple opportunities to score and uh, your defense held them out. Ultimately, uh, that's really what it's all about. Uh, you know, keeping them out of the end zone, huh? At the end of the day, you know, I think third down is one of the stats you look at. Third down conversion, keeping them out of the end zone, red zone, and really just stopping the run. I think when you do that defensively, you got a chance to be really, really good. Jaguars take the victory 21-7 at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas over Texas Southern. When we come back, we'll look at our Alpha Media Players of the Week and have our Coca-Cola player interviews on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, in this segment, like we do every week, 
We have the Alpha Media Players of the Week. And who are those players on offense, defense, and special teams? Offense is our running back who's been doing a tremendous job, just uh, outstanding in protection, falling forward, just giving us a established running back, and that's Devon Ben. Uh, when you talk about defense, talk about a, a freshman that's really coming into his own. Uh, a lot of sacks on the year. I think he's up to about seven now. And that's Jordan Lewis, who's done a great job for us in special teams. Cesar Barajas, who averaged, I think he averaged 46.5 point, uh, uh, for punts on Saturday. I had a long of 59. So it's always good to see him doing a great job. And those are Alpha Media Players of the Week. Oh, good choices. And congratulations, gentlemen, on being Players of the Week. Coach, after the game, we actually caught up with that running back, Devon Ben and Caleb Carter from the defense, and Joe Dupree filed this Coca-Cola player interview. Well, Todd, we're here at the State Fair Classic. Man, what a barn burner as our Jaguars got the victory against the Texas Southern Tigers. Now, Devon, you played an instrumental part to that. Great stats, 91 yards on 16 carries. How was the offense feeling to you today? Uh, man, my offensive line did a great job today opening up the holes for me. Um, and I just wanted to play inside of the offense and produce what my number was called. As you look at the quarterback play, how are you feeling about this dual quarterback situation we're doing? Man, both our quarterbacks are excellent. I'll play with our quarterbacks any day. And the celebration continues here at the State Fair Classic. Our Jaguars came out victorious because of our dog day defense. And one of the big players on the defense, of course, is my man Caleb Carter. Caleb, you did great today. Eight tackles, six Tolo tackles. How does it feel as the defense continues playing the way they're playing? We game plan throughout the week. We practice hard. We come in with our heads straight at practice, and we just focus on the next opponent every week. Well, definitely turnover seems to be what the mantra is because we get turnover after turnover after turnover. How do you feel about that? I feel good about it. Our team, we just prepare all day. We prepare every week. And we just come out here, we prepare our heads for the next opponent every week. Todd, you heard it right here on the Jaguar Football Show. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Caleb. And thank you, Devon. Uh, thanks for the, that interview. Uh, Coach, let's wrap up a little bit of the TC, T, TSU talk. Uh, this was a game where a little bit of momentum shifted, I thought, uh, uh, second quarter, maybe into the third quarter. But one of the things you got to be happy about uh, your team, especially your defense, they didn't bend, they didn't break, yeah. they didn't have a letdown, and that consistency can literally take you to the championship. Well, it's all about just being consistent, and I think we got a great understanding of what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it, and we just got to clean up some things and one thing about it you don't want to be all polished at this point in time in the year you want to be getting better and I think as a football team from where we were the first half of the season to where we are now you see a football team that's coming together and things are starting to fall in place for it and the thing is this consistency and just having consistent practices and if we do that we're going to be able to perform a lot better on Saturdays. Coach I know that you guys really, really critically break down film of the game after each and every game. That is one of the, the time chewers of uh, the coaching profession. After this game, what did you see that you were happy with on offense and defense? And what did you see that we really need to put some time into as we hit this last three game stretch? Well, offensively, I was happy the way we ran the football. I thought we had some unfortunate penalties that took some yards away. but. I was really happy to wear our offensive line, opened up some holes, and our running backs ran with great vision. Uh, just third down, I think third down on offense is what's displeasing. And, you know, it's kind of hard to sustain drives or get any kind of momentum going when you can't stay on the field on third down. Defensively, you know, they're playing pretty well as a unit. You know, still was a missed assignments. And when you watch the film, execution can be a lot better. And if, when that increases, it gives you a greater chance to be dominant. And, we're going to need to continue to play well. And we know what kind of offense we have. We know the potential that's over there. We just got to get some consistency as a football team. And you see it. You see it in spurts. But you got sometimes you got to win pretty and sometimes you got to win ugly. And I think with this football team, just knowing how to win in certain types of football games is really going to prepare them for the stretch. All right, Coach. We appreciate that. Uh, when we come back, we're going to look forward to this weekend's big game against our traditional rival, Jackson State, which will be coming to Mumford Stadium for the first time in three years. So stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Welcome to 
to the Multiplier Games. Multiply your winnings. Five times. Ten times. Twenty times. Fifty times. Win up to two hundred thousand dollars. Louisiana Lottery. Multiply your play. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Are you looking for some great food and to have a great time? Well, come eat, drink, play, and win at Quarters. We've got $7.99 lunch specials Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or you can kick back after work with Happy Hour from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then reverse Happy Hour from 9 p.m. to close in. Bold, play Laser Attack and arcade games and eat some of the best food in Baton Rouge seven days a week. Only at Quarters. Back to the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, this weekend, one of those games uh, that all the SWAC fans, and especially Southern and Jackson State fans, asterisk, is the Southern J State game. Yeah. For the first time in three years, due to SWAC scheduling changes, the game will be played at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Uh, how do you feel about the Tigers and the Jaguars rivalry since you've come to uh, Southern? I know that everybody knows our real rival is the Grambling State Tigers, but for Todd Sterling, I believe Jackson State is equal to the Grambling game just as far as a pure football game is concerned. Well, you're correct. You know, I think when you look at the tradition and you look at the fan bases, it, that's really what creates a great rivalry. And no matter where we play these guys, it's always going to be a great crowd, a fun atmosphere, and we're looking forward to playing in it. But I think that's why you come to Southern is to be able to play in these kind of games and, and be able to play into games that have this kind of magnitude. Both teams are still in the hunt, in the race, and uh, it ought to be a fun football game. Though they went through some changes offensively. But at the end of the day, I think when they come onto our campus, our fans get excited about having uh, to play Jackson State right here in the city of Baton Rouge. Jackson is coming off a 24 to 7 loss to North Alabama this past weekend. They sit at 3 and 3 on the season. Coach, what do the Jackson State Tigers uh, like to do this year? They're normally a running football team. Uh, what do they what, what do they like to do on offense and defense in 2018? Well, they got they made a quarterback change. They got a former quarterback up there that was here at Southern, left went to JUCO and then transferred back to Jackson State and Jared Hayes who's right here from this area, a Central High School graduate. So it ought to be fun uh, getting the chance to see him and his family and getting a chance to play against him. But running the football, they still like to run the football and uh, they will put it in his hands and spread it around a little bit. So we know we got to be ready to make whatever adjustments necessary, but we always want to go into a game to stop the run. Defensively, they're 3-3. They like to get in that 3-3, bring a little pressure, play a little man and, and really stop the run themselves. So it'll be a good football game, be a good challenge, uh, but we know we got to get our football team ready to go and be ready to play a lot better than we did the last time out. Coach Odoms, Jay State actually sits in second place behind Alcorn State in the SWAC East. What do you see, how do you see that East finishing up as, as the season progresses? Well, Alabama State's in the driver's seat. You know, they're the front runners. They were able to go to Alcorn and, and beat them and now they're undefeated. They got a big one uh, this week against Alabama A&M. So it's going to be a lot of football left to be played. But I think this weekend will determine a lot going forward. And I think a lot of teams are still in the hunt and understand that. So it, it intensifies. I think you got to win. If you win, you don't have to worry about anything. But if you're behind the eight ball, you got to try to get some help. So hopefully, you know, we continue to do things we need to do in, on the west side. And it's going to be a race uh, down to the finish. Coach, on the west side, we actually, um, as far as polls are concerned, 
find ourselves in first place in the West uh, with Grambling and um, um, Prairie View tied for second. Um, Coach, how do you see the West finishing up? Well, I know there's a lot of football left, but this is a big weekend to, to really see where it plays out. And then, you know, you turn your eyes to, to November where a lot of football is left to be played. Everybody's closing in. Injuries go play a part down the stretch. And, you know, we're, we're fortunate. You know, we only have 10 games this year. So we're going to play this week, then get a bye, then play, then get a bye. So hopefully our football team is as healthy as it's been for a long time with the way we're going to be able to close out the season. But it's going to come down to the finish. We've been in this predicament for probably six years now that, you know, it comes down to the end. And, and hopefully we do the things that we need to do in order for us to have a chance to, to be the champions of the West. Well, Coach, good luck with Jay State this weekend. When we come back, we're going to wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Of course, huge game this weekend on the bluff. The Jackson State Tigers come a-calling. Jaguar Nation, we need your butts in A.W. Mumford Stadium. Get you some tickets. Come on out and go Jags! Go Jags. 